All right, what's up everybody? This is Chuck, it's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, bringing you another property tour. So today we are in the city of Henderson. We are up in the foothill side of the south city of Henderson. <laughs> We're probably about less than 15 minutes away from the 215 we're on the south side of the uh, 215 so the name of this community is uh, midnight ridge the builder here is uh pardi pardi is the one of the fast um leading builders that build mid-century modern homes modern type of homes so we are going to be touring this single story home right here now there are three single story homes to choose from there's only one that's modeled right now now this one that we're going to be touring today is 2747 square feet it features a four bedrooms two and a half baths and a great room and a large living area or a lounge two car garage plus extra storage the starting price on this is uh, 621,000 so this is actually the two car garage here that you see okay just kind of give you the side look here this is a more of a mid-century modern type of design just based upon the elevation now when it comes to the elevation you have three elevations to choose from 12 different color schemes with the color schemes that will also change the stack stone as well i'm trying to talk over to this um music here so that way i'm not getting demonetized so let's take a look we're going to walk straight right into the courtyard here this gate right here uh that is definitely a upgrade now coming into the courtyard Let's take a look. Beautiful, nice courtyard. So you see we have some wood eaves. Love the nice architectural design. I think probably what I would do here is throw a, uh, a lattice all the way across and some rain gutters too as well. On this one, um, what you see in the inside of the interior, they did us some upgrades on here. Uh, number one, with the exterior, you have three different upgrades to choose from. You have your sprayed on texture. With your sprayed on texture, you have your uh, skip trial texture and also that Santa Fe texture too as well. Uh, this is a smart home system, so it does come with a couple things like the ring, uh, the automated system for your thermostat and stuff like that. But let's go inside. So we have a eight foot mid-century door. Let's come on in here. Straight right into the living area just boom just kind of show you how it feels right just give you a little taste of that but nope we're coming on back so as we enter we have an eight foot door nine foot ceilings in the entryway and we have a nice little light fixture there so as we come through the door on our right hand side we come into the super lounge this is what they call the super lounge now this is actually a upgrade on the super lounge okay now um, what you can do is you have the option for a fifth bedroom they'll build a wall here right this becomes a bedroom you still have a small little lounge here then right here on this powder bath that you see this becomes a full tub shower combo and this wall comes out a little bit more now I'm curious let me know in the comments below would you add the fifth bedroom or just leave it the way it is now I probably would just leave it the way it is however if you did do that fifth bedroom you do have an option for a eight foot slider right here and I would probably do that so that way you kind of get a more of an open feel on this now here, they did do some upgrades here with this um, super lounge. They did the cabinetry, the backsplash, um, the shelves. You got the uh, inch and a half Petrofenia, which is always really nice, and also the sink. And you have your uh, refrigerator. They did do this nice barn door here, which is beautiful. This one has some be beautiful wallpaper. Surround sounds throughout and LED lights. Now this is try out our plan three, or plan three, okay. Uh, these buttons, are, for some apparent reason, they're just not working, because I wanted to show you how all this stuff works, but there's something wrong. So we're not gonna deal with that just yet. So coming back here, we're gonna have two bedrooms back here. 
So we're gonna explore this bedroom to the left. Now the system, this because it's a smart automated system, you can get the Alexa on this one. Okay. Now let's see if this works. Alexa, is Chuckett's the best realtor in Vegas? Here's something I found on the web. According to Realtor.com, in the past 12 years, Craig Tan has distinguished himself as a leader in Las Vegas. Uh-oh. Say Craig Tan. <laughs> that didn't work. Oops, I guess not. Can't always be the best. So this one doesn't have a 4-can lighting, but you definitely do have that upgrade and that option. Do love the uh, windows. We got the low-E window tints on here for uh, UV ray. Okay. This texture on here is a orange peel texture. We have orange peel, skip trial, and also the uh, Santa Fe as far as options. You have your two inch casing around the door, which is nice, kind of gives you that little modern look. Kind of show you in the closet here. Two by eight on the closet. Got your standard shelves and um, your bar for your clothes. That type of shelving, that normally will come inside the laundry room and also the master bedroom too as well, so just keep that in mind. Off to the left, another bedroom. So this would be the second bedroom for this house. Now, the other thing is that if you wanna know what comes standard with this house as far as materials and items, I have a bonus footage or bonus video at the end, so stay tuned. So that way you can see what you get as far as like standard uh, tile and all that stuff. Okay. Also, if you are per uh, planning on uh, coming on out here to this site because you guys want to see this home, now uh, a lot of builders are now getting a lot of getting tough with not bringing your realtor. However, come see my girl Amy here. Okay, she'll walk you guys through the process and show you everything and answer all the questions that you need. So with me, I was able to build relationships with these builders. So if you guys want a custom, you know, roll out red carpet, let me know. Then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and register you prior to you visiting this track. The reason why this is important because if should you decide to build, then you decide to call me, we need to make sure that we are registered. Now, I'm not even talking about only for me. Any other agent that you're working with too is, as well. So cabinet's been upgraded on the uh, dovetails. However, make sure what I've noticed is that these bumpers right here, see that? These are bumpers. When you do your final walkthrough, make sure all the bumpers are all installed because they will be missing bumpers, okay? Countertops, you need to run your hand around this whole countertops. Make sure it's nice and smooth, okay? Even on the edges here because once you sign off, you're done. Surround sounds, you have an option to upgrade that. I don't know, would you make the fifth bedroom here and have a smaller little lounge? Let me know in the comments below. You got a thermostat right here too as well. Now we're gonna come across here. Now this is very unique, okay? Off to the left here, Picture a door right here. There should be a door here to access into your two car garage. Then on the right hand side is more of a storage. So it's like two and a half car garage and that's where you'll store some stuff, okay? You do have an option to put a valet here or more uh, shelving. Here, this is just coat closet, okay? Now, this is just a service door. This service door, to the um, another closet. This is probably all your um, panels for your smart box and all that's all in here. So it's a lock because this model right here is actually the sales office. Now, washer and dryer are not included, but you can definitely buy that from the builder. And also you have an option to do an upgrade on the shelves here. Now, as you can see how dark it is just with one light. So you definitely may want to do a fluorescent light versus just one can light. Here is your attic access. You have your exhaust fan. Here's your shelves. Now you do have an option to do a uh, another door, and that door right here leads into the master closet. So that way you don't have to walk all the way around. You can just walk right through. That's a great upgrade. 
Now, coming right into the great room. Take a look at this. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Forgot to show you the tile here. We have 18 by 18 tile with an eight inch stack, or oh, six inch stagger on here. Now, the other thing I wanna um, show you about with tile. If you happen to buy a big piece of tile, depending if it's you know 72 inch by whatever inch, and you're gonna do a six inch stagger, you need to make sure from the tile company can you actually do a six or eight see what the recommendation is because if you make it too big what happens is you can actually end up cracking all your tiles because it's not recommended also you want to make sure your tile or your flooring is it waterproof is it made for wet areas now all the measurements i'll have in the uh, link in the description below also, I have the 3D tour. Also, I will have all the configurations that you can do uh, to this property. As far as structural upgrades, uh, there's not too many. Obviously, I'm going through them with you right now. We got the faux beams. The faux beams, you guys can do this anytime. Do it on your own. However, um, that's if you are handy. Now, what we have is a 12-foot slide. Now, this is a pretty much standard slide for this home. And models four and five okay if you wanted to upgrade with the 15 foot pocket doors or it's actually not even a pocket doors a 15 foot slide you have a right to do that with a cost and it just it's three panels that are five feet and it slides but you then you'll still have that five feet panel right here kind of gives you more of that open space so you get about three feet more okay and these are aluminum. I don't even know why I keep on saying aluminum. It's actually vinyl slides. So now let's take a look at this island here. Now with the island, they did do the upgrade. This is what I never understood. Petrofenia, right? A lot of builders will include this in the, all the bathrooms. But if you wanted to do this inside the kitchen is an upgrade. Okay, Dan, they, they rock and botch up in here. So they pretty much did a higher grade on the appliances. Now, when it comes to um, kitchen countertops, if you get this, granite, whatever you get, see what the standard, it can only be a half an inch. If it's only a half an inch, with this style of home, and it's gonna look ugly. Imagine it's just only being half an inch here. So some builders will charge you for the two inch. You need to find out. If it's a bull nose, they'll charge you. A straight edge, they will charge you. These are the things that you have to find out. However, as you can see, it's not really a true two inch because look, there's plywood underneath, right? But they're pretty good at seaming this all up on the 40, uh, 45 degree cut. So they did a really good job on this one, okay? Uh, the cabinets here are an upper grade cabinets. Again, if you wanna see what the materials and the standards, what you get, watch the bonus footage at the end of this video, folks. I don't know, if, uh, I'm doing these videos and I'm actually having fun doing these videos. Lexa, is Chuck It's the best realtor in Vegas? Oh, I guess Alexa didn't hear me. All right, so. A lot of uh, modern home styles are starting to do this and I think this is so creative. I do love the the white and the different color island and take a look at the countertops, different color. Both of these are quartz on here, okay? Love the glass backsplash, however, with the white grout, looks so nice, but it gets so damn dirty. I don't know why. So we got some LED lights, that's definitely an upgrade. We got the undermounted sink and the soap dispenser, which is another upgrade. Dishwasher, which is a nice feature. Now with a home like this, maybe I want two dishwashers or maybe it's overkill. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe it is an overkill. As far as for botch appliances, I don't know if I would use botch appliances on a home like this. I would probably just do a monogram is good enough for me. So we have a 40, uh, two upper cabinets on here with full overlays. And I believe with this builder, you already get that three inch crown on the overlays. Now, this is a microwave, convectional, and also a microwave. Here is your pantry. Let me know what your thoughts are about the uh, the pantry here. Okay. 
Now, I'm gonna shut this door real quick. I believe, I'm not too sure, I believe this door is standard. I believe so, don't quote me on that. Now, this is a upgrade. Now, you have your refrigerator on top. Let me just show you this real quick. Ah, oh, my arms get sore just holding that camera. Shooting a lot of videos today, okay? Doors are nice and heavy. Nice, spring-loaded, it pivots, architect, architect articulates very easy. Now, this is a box refrigerator. The only thing is that when you do the built-in, look at the depth space that you use. That's the only negative thing. And you should have your pull-outs here. These are very nice on the pull-outs. Uh, I have one of these and I do not like it whatsoever. Um, bad decision, looks cool, don't like it. But again, it's just personal preference. Now, let's come along here. Oh, one more thing I just wanted to show you on the shelves here. Um, all the shelves are just regular doors that are pullouts. If you wanted to do the uh, pot drawers, you can do the pot drawers, but that's gonna cost you some money. Now, if you wanna cut costs, what you can do is do the front door cabinets like this, then have your sliding drawers out for your pot drawers, okay? So you do have that option. Now, these are um, painted cabinets. Now, one thing I wanna show you about the cabinet, okay? because this is a very thin cabinet. Las Vegas gets so hot, it ex expands and contracts. So basically what you'll see here, this will start to slide, this center panel. Once it starts to slide, what you'll notice is that you'll see a seam that was painted in the original color of this wood. Now, you have to understand, they put this panel together, then they painted this cabinet, right? And what happens is, eventually this thing will shift. So what you're gonna need to do, what I've learned from my experience is on the back side, shove a toothpick here, right? So that way, eventually, this doesn't move, okay? Now every once in a while, you'll get something like this. It just needs to be sand, refurbished, and painted, okay? But again, um, you should get your bumper to bumper warranty, so just keep that in mind. If you are gonna get the alarm system, I would highly recommend you do the pre-wire with the alarm system and have it all integrated into your windows. So we have a 12 foot slide right here, which is nice. That right there, I believe is, is a upgrade, okay? Here's your dining room area, which is pretty nice. You know what, let's go outside. Oh my God, I just burped, sorry guys. You have your final slide coming on out. Ooh, obviously all this tile right here, uh, they upgraded this tile. And they also put some heat up here. That is a big upgrade. I don't know if it's worth the money or the cost. I probably wouldn't do it. Water feature, really nice. A little different. Now the lots here, I believe there's about 120 lots. I think it was 27 I said that was sold. Lot premiums will run you about 20,000. I've seen uh, lots closing out here at 190,000. Could also be more. There are some with some strip views too as well. <coughs> Excuse me, let's take a look at the uh, barbecue grill. Nice. Now with barbecue grills, you're gonna have to do granite versus quartz the reason why is because uh the weather conditions out here when it's so hot i don't know if it's gonna last now we have some crack here on the stone here okay so that tells me that this is just rebar it's probably not post tension on here but we know the house is post tension also for the interior of this home okay you got radiant barrier on this which is a good upgrade the other thing I want you to do is make sure to ask what type of uh, insulation comes standard. Now on the exterior walls, they're not using two by fours, they're using two by six. With the exterior of the walls, the insulation, I believe it is R15, right? R15 on here. Uh, I believe industry standard is R13, but on the exterior is R15. Uh, interior is R13, but you can actually upgrade to R15. Inside the attic on this builder, I believe it is R30, and you can upgrade to r uh, 38 uh, make sure you want to find out is blown insulation or 
is it batting okay also find out what the hertz ratings is too as well that is very important this one it looks like they've already pre-wired for some floodlights or some cameras which is great remember guys if that's what you're going to plan on doing this is what you need to do to spec out on the home man i feel like i'm on a road today i feel good maybe you know what it was believe it or not today i was walking around there was this uh hot blonde chick right good looking chick we just had a conversation. I didn't think nothing of it. Sales lady came up to me and she was like, hey, this girl's feeling you. She likes it and she's single. I was like, okay, cool. My head started getting bigger, you know? And I just said, hey, you know what? That just made my day. I appreciate that. I'm very flattered. It's just, you know, sometimes, you know, guys gotta hear that, you know? Ladies gotta hear that, you know? I think that's why I'm just so excited. I don't know. Anyway, take a look at this look at how gorgeous this is let's just take a second here see gorgeous right gorgeous now let's go back inside of the home okay let's take a look at this see what else we missed okay also um let's talk about the outlets uh real quick i'm starting to see there's a lot of outlets now that they're selling with like led lights for at night and certain type of plugs they're really upgrading these outlets too as well not saying with this builder i'm just saying in general okay we have a thermostat here which is nice remember electrical depending where you want to put your tv all your outlets you have that option some builders will be limited but with this builder you do have a substantial amount of options that you can pick oops excuse me that was actually the door so this master bedroom is probably larger than 20 by 20 okay i'm not good at estimating but uh, that's just a, a guess uh, i do love the uh, the pitch roof here okay that's at least got to be 12 feet or maybe higher 15 feet down to nine feet that's what i'm thinking here okay now let's just go through the master bath here oh look you got another thermostat here too as well okay one thing that i would do okay for like go check this out you have your light switch here right to turn on your half hot and all your lights okay i would do that and have a secondary one right there and another one right there so that way you don't have to get out of bed to turn off your lights, right? Also, because you have two plugs behind there, add the USB port so that way it's for your phone, okay? And you don't have to have that extension cord or whatever. So here's the master bath. All this right here would be standard depending on the cabinets that you pick. Now this is what I was talking about. Half inch on this Petrofinia. I mean, you can't half-ass a job like this, especially in a home like this. So if you're going to do this, see if you can upgrade to the 2-inch. Just by doing that 2-inch gives you that really custom look. See how much is it too as well, okay? You got the undermounted sink. Now, with this tile backsplash here, it's not included. And you should just have a frameless mirror here. But now when it comes to the design for lighting, if you went with this, right, you may want to put a... Uh, junction box here and another one here because you may have a light fixture that just hangs on this wall right here or mounts on this wall that kind of give you that elegant look but these are things that you, you, you guys just got to think about when you're customizing a home okay or specking a home now right here is a structural option this is a complete option here that they showed you a couple things if you didn't do this what was standard you would actually have a tub and a shower, okay? Tub, shower. Structural options here. Uh, this is completely structural, one option. The second option, with this tile, with these fixtures, you don't get this. What tile do you get instead? Now, if you watch the video until the end with the bonus footage video, I'll show you what type of materials you get standard here, and what's the next level you can upgrade from. These are Delta uh, products, Delta. Lifetime warranty, okay? 
Couple things that I received went wrong with this. Let's just take a look. Tell me what's going on with this. You see how dirty it is? It's probably because the prop thing has not been sealed. So these are things that you have to look at and you probably don't want to use the uh, white grout or the white tile, okay? Also, the other thing I want to show you is feel this material, it's nice and smooth. Can you guys feel that? Yes, it's nice and smooth. One thing that you need to be aware of, okay? And this is with countertops too as well. What do you use to clean this, okay? If you are having hot water spots because calcium buildup, because you don't have a soft water system, you start scrubbing this, you start etching the coating on here. Next time it gets dirty, it's harder. You're washing it, you're sanding it down. It's, you're really etching it. That's what you're basically doing. You're sanding off the coating. So you need to ask these questions. Hopefully you find these videos very informative uh, and it's really helping you guys out. Off to the left here, we have our first closet with the built-ins, okay? This is all a upgrade. Now, again, you see how dark this is? For me, I personally would not um, like these LED lights. I would need more LED lights. Let me just shut this up. This would be your access to your second. I don't know why they need two doors here. That's interesting. Unless... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's just more for, hey, this is his and hers or hers and his. Now, I would definitely do uh, LED lights, the fluorescent lights. I would do the uh, eight, eight foot lights on here. Have this thing glow like a ping pong ball machine. Ugh. Now, upgrade. Framed in this door into the laundry room. That is a nice, nice feature to have. Also, one thing I just noticed, I just shut the door, there's not a door stopper, okay? The other thing is, a lot of builders will make this mistake, just like the bumpers on the, um, uh, what do you call? On the cabinets, they forget to put the door stoppers. Make sure you got all your door stoppers too. All right. I mean, that's pretty much the end of this video. I think by the time you guys watch this video, we'll be at 120,000 subscribers. That's right, 120,000 subscribers. Well, let me know what your thoughts are about this property. And also, um, I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you are looking to purchase a home, make sure to reach on out to us before you guys go out there and start looking at home so that way um, you don't want to be misled. Next thing you know, you are registered with that builder. Okay. Other than that, thank you so much for the opportunity to earn your business. I'm Chuck It's Crusoe with Simply Vegas and have a blessed day. All right, guys, welcome to the bonus, bonus feature, bonus video. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, welcome to the bonus video towards the end, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, uh, here, this is where I'm going to show you what comes standard with the product with Party Home. So, what I like about this builder, they have integrated kind of a, like a showroom floor of what's going on and what you get uh, with this builder. So, let's get it started. So, first thing here is the smart home system. It's a Wi-Fi connection throughout your whole home, and it really like there's a system really that amplifies everything. So, number one, you get your Echo device, right? You get your light switches. The light switches are smart switches, so that way, once you exit a room, it turns on or turns off. After a certain time, it just kicks off. Also, you have your phone that connects to your thermostat, your doorbell, and also your garage door opener, and much, much more. Now, also, uh, Amazon has also included devices like Echo and Alexa, right? Now, let's move on to the 11 different color schemes that you can pick from. Here are the 11 color schemes. However, when you do pick a model, you have three, that's right, three different elevations to pick from from there. Then you can pick and choose any elevation that you want. But there's something that you need to be aware of. Disclosure, let me tell you what it is. Now, if you are the first person to buy within the community, 
you're pretty much open to any elevation or any model that you want to pick, right? And also the color scheme. However, you can't pick the exact same elevation or color screen that's right next to you or in front of you according to HOA guidelines. So keep that in mind, okay? Now, let's take a look at this right here. Up inside your attic where the roof line is gonna be located, this silver thing that you see right here, it tells you that's a radiant barrier. That's more efficient for your home, which saves you more on your money and your electricity bill. Now, coming on to the type of textures that you can pick and choose from for the interior. Right here we have an orange peel texture. For me, orange peel texture hides more of a blemish. Now we are moving on to skip trawl. Skip trawl is one of my favorite types of texture. It is very hard to mimic. So once you cut your drywall and you go back to try to do it, it's gonna be very hard to cover. However, really gives you that modern look. This one is a more of a thicker skip trawl. The third and final, this is the Santa Fe. Santa Fe kind of gives you more of that luxury, but a little bit of that modern feel. Now let me know in the comments below of which texture you do like. Now moving along on the construction side. So this kind of gives you a diagram, kind of shows you how things work and how your home would actually look. So on the exterior of your home, they would have the two by six. From the two by six, you have your paper felt. Next thing you know, you have your control joints in between. From the control joints, you have your styrofoam and also your chicken, wet, uh, chicken, chicken mesh wire. Reason why this is stuck in place is because number one, somewhat helps the uh, insulation, but most importantly, this allows the concrete all right, concrete to stick to the chicken wire. Here is your window frame. Window frames are all vinyl. Again, you also have the low E, okay? Kind of gives you that, you see that light tint that you have? So it helps with the cost. Now, moving along to the uh, exterior of the home, you have three different uh, patterns that you can pick from. You got your skip trawl, you got your spray on. So let's take a look at that skip trawl. This is all concrete now, folks. This would be your control joint joints, okay? Now from here, this is your sprayed on, and here is your Santa Fe. The Santa Fe kind of gives you really that smooth texture look. Now, if you see a crack like this, don't be worried. Your home is gonna expand and contract. You also have warranties too as well. Make sure to see what those warranties are, one, three, or six, or 10 year warranty. And also you wanna make sure what that foundation warranty covers. So this is kind of like your siding. Now, however, these are not your panel sidings right here. I believe these are actually concrete done as well. Now, the other thing, soft water loop. If uh, you're gonna get a soft water loop, make sure to get your purification system and also your soft water. The water is so harsh out here. Next thing you know we have here is your tankless hot water heater. Now, tankless hot water heater here, this one looks like it comes with a purification system, conditioner, which is really nice. However, one thing that you may wanna upgrade, and, um, upgrade on this is your reverse valve, okay? The reason why you want that, right, is because so that way you can have, it's actually called your circulation valve. The reason why you want that is so that way the water can constantly circulate and you will always have hot water. There are pros and cons to have something like this. Now, the pros is that you don't, no, the cons is that you don't get hot water right away unless you have that circulating valve. However, you can leave this thing running for 24 hours and you would just get hot water non-stop. The downfall is that should the gas be turned off or the power to be turned off, you, you won't get hot water. With a tank water heater, if the power goes off or the gas goes off, you'll still have water within that tank. Now, one thing that I want you to be aware of, depending on which builder you use, depending on what sub they use, subcontractor, it's gonna probably be focused plumbing because they have majority of the accounts because you're buying a brand new home. If you're gonna do anything with plumbing, make sure to get them back out here to use that company so that way you are not avoiding your warranty. Now normally this is set for 120 degrees, okay? So just keep that in mind. Also, one thing as far as pressurizing your water, if you're gonna pressurize your, pressurize your water, it's always located here in the garage. Here's your pressure valve. Again, the 
Do not mess with this. Contact a plumber, okay? Reason why you mess with this, you blow the lines, you void your warranty, okay? So, for my experience with code, is anywhere from uh, 65 to 70 uh, pounds per square foot. Again, please make sure to contact a licensed plumber. Disclosure. Now, let's take a look at the foundation. How is the foundation here made? This is good. Number one, this tells me this is a post-tension slab. So what is a post-tension slab? So let's pretend this is the whole foundation of your home, okay? So what they'll do is they'll lay down this concrete. When they're laying down this concrete, or pouring this concrete, you'll have these tension cables that go all the way across from one end to the other. And the reason why they do this is because the sole here um, will expand and contract and will also shift. So the reason why they do this post-tension slab, um, so when it shifts, your whole house moves together. If you didn't have these uh, post-tension slabs now, what happens is you'll have foundations that break like this, right? It's flat, boom, breaks. So then it's no good. When you have a post-tension slab, it shifts back and forth. Now what these are, these are tension cables that go across. Now these tension cables are um, really tight and they have so much force. So a lot of people will come out here and start putting safes in their garage or somewhere in the house. Please be very careful of that because you could actually void the warranty. And if you snap one of these cables, you can actually cause damage and you can really hurt somebody. So please be very careful uh, with that. Now, standard upgrades and options. We talked about this kitchen cabinets, baseboards and all that stuff. So what do you get? This is the type of cabinet that you get. Now. That looks so cheesy, so that tells me that you probably want to upgrade. Countertops, boom. There's your countertops. There's your selections on your countertops. One thing that you need to know about countertops is say if you do like this countertop, is it straight edge? Is it bull nose on standard? Is it three quarters or do you get one inch? And if, it's, if you get one inch, is it a true one inch? or are they um, gluing it together and sanding it down. Not only that, they will cost you to do that too as well. This gives you an idea of your 18 by 18 tiles in the wet areas. These one in ones normally go in the bathrooms, okay? Right here, we got the Petrofenia. On the Petrofenia, this is what goes in your countertops in your bathrooms. Right here is your standard color, looks like, on your baseboards. This right here, they're missing some pieces, so I can't even tell you what that is at this time. Now, guys, let me know if you find that this video is very helpful. Other than that, don't forget, me to, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that notification button. Well, guys, I'm out. Peace. Oh, oh, one more thing, one more thing. Your sack stone. That's what you get. Hey, guys, have a blessed day. I'm out.